Leslie is back with a blast to the past. And another edition of Stucco Corner. All this plus your daily announcements. I'm Zachary Finley. And I'm Morgan Owens. And HSTV Live starts right now. Are you interested in teaching, coaching, or working with children? You can now sign up for the Education and Coaching Internship class, which is only offered to current sophomores and juniors. Please stop by room 817 to see Mrs. Hamby for the registration information and require a link to enroll before this Friday, February 16th. It's a whole new week filled with whole new news from your Stuco Corner. What do you got for us, Maddie? Thanks, Zach. We have upcoming Stuco and class officer elections. Election packets are being handed out in room 636 and are due March 2nd. We are currently having a luggage and pillow drive for foster kids. Duffel bags are less than $15 at Walmart and Target, and pillows are less than $3 at Kohl's. We are trying to provide each, each child in the foster care with luggage and a pillow to lay their head on. When a child is put in the foster system, they only receive a trash bag for all their belongings, and our goal is to soon provide every foster kid in the state of Texas with their own luggage to carry. We recently got to help a four-year-old in pre-K within the district, and we gave her luggage, pillow, and a toy. When she was contacted with us, she had nothing. Thank you, Texan family, for showing support and continue to keep giving. That's all we have for you and your Stuco Corner. Back to you, anchors. Now it's time to bring back an, whole, an old segment from our archives, yesterday's news. Here's Wesley Bellish with your first edition. Good morning, Texans, and welcome to Yesterday's News, a brand new segment here on NHS TV where I take you on a quick trip through the past and revisit some of the biggest stories from this week in history. So, without further ado, let's get into our top stories. Our first episode starts off with a bang, literally, as the battleship USS Maine was destroyed by a massive explosion near Havana, Cuba. The loss of the battleship took the country by surprise, and many were quick to point fingers at the Spanish, who controlled Cuba at the time. This led the U.S. to declare war on Spain, and within just three months, the American forces were victorious over the Spanish, capturing territories like Puerto Rico and Guam that they still hold today. It wasn't until the 1970s that the main explosion was determined to be an accident. That had nothing to do with the Spanish. Next, we jump forward a few decades and across the sea, where some major ground was being broken in World War II. This week in 1945 saw the end of a meeting called the Yalta Conference, where three of the biggest military powers in the world, the US, the UK, and the Soviet Union, formed a plan to confront the threat of Nazi Germany. It was here that Russia officially joined the Allies so they could apply pressure on Germany from the East as well as from the West. The Allies would go on to capture Berlin and win the war in Europe in May of that year. And we finish off this episode by celebrating the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln was, of course, the president who led our divided country through the Civil War and helped bring about the abolition of slavery. Lincoln was born in Kentucky in 1809 and would be 209 years old today. And that's the way it was. Thank you for watching, Texans, and be sure to tune in again for next week's edition of Yesterday's News. As you all know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. We have Texan Flowers in the studio to talk about their flower sales. Thanks, Zach. I have Brooke Boyd and Jessica White in the studio today to talk about how they're going to make your Valentine's Day special. So what flowers is Texan Flowers selling? We're selling rose vases, carnation vases, vases and as well as a dozen rose vases, and as well as a balloon. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> so how much will the, will the flowers cost? Um, the carnation vases are $5, and the rose vases are $10, and the balloons are three dollars. Okay, why is the roses more expensive than the carnations? Uh, they're just a higher quality flower and the more popular flower for Valentine's Day. Okay, awesome. So what other flowers? Does Texan flowers only sell Valentine's or is it an assortment? Uh, we sell flowers all year long for multiple different occasions or if anybody just wants flowers, we'll sell them. Awesome, the arrangements are beautiful. So Texans, be sure to go out and buy your significant other a nice Valentine's Day present. Back to you, Zach. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for your lovey-dovey edition of Texans on Main Street. Have a great rest of your day, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.